Rose Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, February 7th. So the moon is going to be in Taurus energy all day. This is a great thing for us. We get to kind of slow down. We get to slow the roll down. We get to focus on the comfortability of our surroundings. We become a little bit of a hermit mode because we have to find stable footing. We have to find stable ground. We have to pour a little bit of self-love all over ourselves because we had a hard day yesterday. There are seven different aspects taking place here today. Six of them involve the moon. The only one that isn't involving the moon is Venus. And Venus rules over this moon in Taurus. And she is piecing things together now that she is awake and in a direct motion. So we can expect to have a little bit more of an emphasis on our heart chakra coming with some very serious heart activations. But first, we have to talk about the moon. And the moon is going to be bumping into Neptune, which is going to make us very sensitive. Now, we put on a nice mask. From the outside, we do not look like we are emotional, ooey-gooey mess on the inside. That's a good thing. We want to save face. But here's the thing. We need to kind of step back and be a little bit ooey-gooey in this inside because we have a lot of emotions that we have to sort out. We also have a lot of dreaming that we have to do in this visualization process. We're being presented with an opportunity here very shortly to take action, to make a move on bringing new elements that we would have realized that we wanted to bring to life under the new moon to our physical realms. And so the moon sextiles Jupiter, and this is where we recognize, you know what, this is an opportunity to grow. This is an opportunity to gain more stability. This is an opportunity for me to recognize what I want more of. What do we want more of? Well, we want more love. We want more safety. We want more security. We want more independence. We want more happiness. We want more joy. This is going to be a good vibe for us because we're going to recognize what it is that we're currently lacking in our physical realms. Taurine energy being, of course, down to earth, very focused on our physical realms. And that Jupiter aspect that shows us where growth is needed, where we need to expand our values, expand our efforts in order to create a new peaceful, harmonious physical realm for ourselves is definitely going to help illuminate for us the bigger, greater, grander picture within ourselves of what it is that we actually need emotionally. Here's where things get tricky, though. Halfway through the day, the moon is going to bump into Chiron, the wounded healer. And this is likely going to be an activation, a trigger from outside of us, likely from someone that we deeply care about, a disruption of our plans, information coming in that totally, you know, takes us out of our comfort little niche nook that we find ourselves in when the moon is in Taurus. And we are definitely going to be triggered. We're going to just, we're going to be so disappointed that we finally just got a good vibe and now something else is setting us off. But we have to use this as an indicator to say, oh, okay, well, we just, you know, dreamed up and concocted a brand new visual on what it is we want more of. And I sure as hell don't want more of this bad vibe, this bad feeling, this drama. So this kind of puts it in perspective of what it is that, you know, we're being illuminated to in our physical realms that aren't working for us in order to figure out what it is we have to create to move away from that state of being triggered. Here's where things get tricky. I'll give you a forewarning here. Mars comes into play. Mars rules over our physical energy. And the moon trines Mars, which is, you know, a good aspect. We can blend these energies together. But we have a tendency to act out on our feelings. Now, here's here's the good aspect. I'll give you the, the pros and the cons. The good aspect here is that we might be such highly triggered by the events that just transpired outside of us, that we take a stand and we enforce a boundary. That would be the best action to take. Mars, of course, wants to take action in our physical realms. And we might have to respond with saying, hmm, I'm sorry, you're you're testing my boundaries here. I have a new worth. I have a new value system that I'm trying to live upon. And right now you're infringing on that. And I'm so I'm going to draw a line. Okay, that would be the best way to use this energy. The not so good way to use this energy is to lash out, is to just flip out at the trigger, react with old patterns, old behaviors, projectile vomit, your hurt feelings, your egoic feelings, and create a mess. Now we do have a harmonious aspect supporting 
good boundaries being implemented, good actions being taken in order to create and build something that will provide you safety and security and moving forward, drawing that line and having that line be very clearly seen and validated and respected by those that need to uh, be full aware that you're not playing those same old games. But again, we do come with the cautionary note that if our egos get the best of us, we could make a mess of things. The moon is going to come up to, sit next to, conjunct Uranus, the great awakener. Now, Uranus is in Taurus. Uranus is the great awakener, likes to shock us, awe us, especially in our higher intellect, give us downloads of aha moments, skew our perspective, allow us to see a different vision actually take place. But we're having a little bit, a little bit of a hard time because so much is changing. We're now being challenged to implement the changes in our physical realm that we realize that we need to make on our inner realms while Venus was retrograde. And now we're being challenged to do that. So the moon bumping into Uranus at this time wants us to express what it is that we individually know to be true. This is a new truth aspect. This is a new boundary aspect. This is about receiving clarity. This is about recognizing where the chaos has been chaotic for far too long, where it is that we need stability, where it is that we need safety. And if the universe provides you an opportunity to speak that truth outwards to somebody that needs to hear it, take it as long as you're speaking from your higher self and not your ego. The moon trines Venus. This is almost like, yep, we took this opportunity. We spoke our truth from our higher self. And guess what? We were heard. We were validated. We seen that somebody in our life is actually seeing the worth and the meaning that we now see within ourselves. And they are willing to do what it takes to actually meet us halfway. This is essentially us recognizing that our physical realms are receiving the vibrations, the frequencies that we now have within ourselves to want, need more where safety, emotional safety especially, is concerned. And right now, we're feeling heard. We're feeling like our emotional needs, our expressions of what it is that we need are being met. And that's a very good feeling. And just as this takes place, Venus goes ahead and bumps into the true note. This is growth. This is growth in our personal relationships. This is growth in identifying what it is that we need emotionally. This is growth, understanding that what it is that we've been dreaming up and concocting for ourselves in a futuristic vision is actually possible. If we have the courage, we have the bravery for, to ask what it is that we know that we need, that we want. This is almost like, oh my goodness, we get an opportunity from the cosmos to step up to the plate, to vocalize what it is we want, need, and desire. The other person hears us, receives it well, meets us halfway, and then suddenly we're back into visualizing what it is that our future vision could actually look like if we were to continue to stand in our power and ask for what it is that we know that we need. <laughs> 